Hello everyone. For this example, we're going to be working with a AutoCAD DWG file. It could be either a DWG or a DXF, but we're going to work with a DWG. Our part is looks like a U channel here, and we're going to use the tools that SolidWorks has to take this data that has all the dimensions already built into it. Um, it's built to scale one to one and transform it into a three-dimensional part. I'm going to break it down into three separate videos. The first one will be just how to import this drawing into SolidWorks. The second one would be how to turn these views we have here into orthogonal sketch views within SolidWorks. And then the last video will be actually creating the part. So let's get straight to it in this first video. Let's see here. All right, first thing you do is you're going to open up a .dwg. Make sure, if you see down here, if you don't have all files selected, usually when you open up a, a part or a drawing or an assembly in SOLIDWORKS, it already has the SOLIDWORKS portions selected. So you need to select the all files in order to see the actual DWG. Our example is going to be bracket 1042 in DWG format. You select open and it's going to open up the DXF DWG import box. We're going to use it as a 2D sketch. So select the 2D sketch, hit your next. And this one, I'm just going to tell you that the drawing was done in inches, so we want to select our inches. Uh, our drawing only has two layers here. You'll notice if you work with, if you work a lot with AutoCAD drawings, two-dimensional drawings, there's a lot of layers. Uh, if you do your drawings correctly, you'll have multiple layers: layers for the actual object, layers for text, layers for dimensions. Um, ours only has two. I think actually everything is. If I were to select the selected layers, yeah, everything's on layer zero, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but make sure you select your units of import. And if we had a drawing that had a lot of layers, this would make it a lot easier to actually clean up all the stuff we don't need. Because what we're interested in is only our four views here. Our front, our right side, our left side, and our top view. We don't need the uh, title block. We don't need this isometric view. So. Let's hit next. Here, you can merge points closer than 0.001. Just leave that the way it is. What we're interested in here on this drawing layer mapping is removing the entities. Now, this is a viewport, so I can zoom in and out uh, just like a viewport in any CAD drawing. And you can pan around. What I want to do is select the stuff I'm not going to use. So, I'm boxing. And then you hit remove entities and it'll make them disappear. You know, if you go from left to right, it's whatever's contained within the box, it'll delete. If you go from right to left, anything that it crosses, it'll delete. Remove entities, uh, zoom in so I can get a better look. And I'm just deleting everything I don't need. Remove entities. Like I said, if there was a lot of layers, um, probably would have had a different layer just for the isometric view. You could have turned everything off. That looks about good. Now we're going to hit finish. And it gives you this uh, enable the exploded blocks option. Sometimes you get a AutoCAD drawing where they made a lot of blocks, which when you import it, they'll actually still be blocks. And this option, if we hit yes, um, there's, we don't have any blocks in this, this drawing, so I'll just hit no. But if you assume that you have a lot of blocks, hit yes, it will expose those blocks as you come in. It'll make the line work a lot easier to actually work with. But we don't need that in our case. And now, everything's put on the front plane. So, now that we learned the basics of importing it, the next video 
will show us how we can use the 2D to 3D toolbar to transform these sketches into orthogonal sketches.